Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys Okay, see you again with me In lesson English for tourism Okay, before I start this video I will introduce myself to you My name is Hoi Nisa You can call me Nisa Or whatever you want I'm from Darul Ulum Islamic University Lamongan And this is my view And this is my kids photo Now I will explain about hotel Okay, do you know hotel? Hmm, I'm sure you all already know the hotel or have even stayed at the hotel, right? Hmm, so what is hotel? Okay, I think there are many hotels in Indonesia because in every city must have several hotels, right? But do you know guys what is the definition of hotel and then the classification of hotel the types of hotel and then what is the regulation in hotel okay i will explain them the first is definition of hotel the hotel is a building that is used to serve uh, lodging service with a wide selection of rooms for tourists the hotels comes from the uh, ancient French word uh, that is hostel, which means shelter for migrants. There are also some expects me opinions such as Richard Sihit and Lawson and the Citura. Okay, next about the types and classification of hotel. In general, this classification is based on location, number of rooms, uh, and also classes. The first is hotel based on location. There are resort hotels that usually located in shores of lakes, beaches, mountains, and other natural tourist attractions. Resident hotel that usually locates on the outskirts of the city which are still far from the center of the crowd and then city hotel usually which is in the city center and last is motor hotel or motels commonly located along inner city or provincial highways or near city boundaries okay next about hotel based on star there are one star hotel two star hotel three star hotel four star hotel and the last five star hotel okay now about hotel based on number of rooms the first is small hotel a minimum 28 rooms and then medium hotel number between 28 until 299 rooms and the last large hotel uh, more than 300 rooms now about the types of hotel there are some types of hotel we are can distinguish it by looking at the area of the rooms the size of the mattress and the facilities in it the first is standard room which are usually priced at a more affordable price by getting facilities such as two queen size beds next superior room the most obvious difference between the standard room is the nice room uh, interior and the view of the room it offers and the next deluxe room this room has a large room size and has some quite luxurious facilities than the previous previous room types and the next presidential suite this type is usually priced very expensive because the facilities it offers are very luxurious and the next single room this room is the most common type 
of room which consists of a sofa, single bed, single bed, and bathroom. Next, twin room that suitable for married couples for honeymoon. And the last is family room that suitable for a family while on vacation. And for more info, you can visit this site. Okay, next about regulation of hotel. There are many regulations in hotels such as the check-in schedule is usually at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. while the maximum check-out schedule is at 12. If the guests accept the check-out limit, usually the hotel will provide a fine or additional fee. Guys, must uh, submit a KTP or ID card you point check in and can be retrieved at checkout. The maximum the maximum capacity of guys is two people for one room, except triple and family type room. If guys capacity exceeds specified, an additional charge will cost. For cancellation of room reservation will usually is given the maximum limit. Guys are better to stay uh, one room with the opposite sex that is not husband or his wife. Guys are prohibited from making noise, taking crime action, and carrying drugs and alcohol. Guys are prohibited from bringing home or hotels room properties except by changing a number of bees. And for more info, you can visit this site. Okay guys, I think enough for this explanation. And I apologize if I have many mistakes when I say. And thank you very much for your nice attention. And see you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dadah.